It's epic exhaustion mail time. I am surrounded by mail and I am operating on 20 minutes of sleep. Um, I've been out of town for eight weeks. There is a stack of boxes. Holy mackerel. There is a whole bunch of mail. And there's Bella. Bella and I have been on the road for the last, uh, how long? 10 hours from Charlotte. Uh, our flight, my flight out of uh, San Antonio was delayed. So um, I arrived at uh, 4.30 this morning and got about 20 minutes of sleep. Woke up wide awake, started writing. Thought I would do a video. This is as close as I get. I don't drink more than one drink in a day. So this is as close as I get to inebriated. So if I was going to do anything zany, it would be while exhausted. First thing I'm going to show you is something I've already opened. This was, um, Amber brought this up to the mountains for me to see. This is the finest piece of art I have seen from Ben Adams, who is rapidly becoming one of my favorite uh, working fine artists. Um, I support him on Patreon. It's something you should check out. I send him, um, he gets uh, money from me every month just to keep him um, doing the uh, art that he loves and is great at. And he's got a lot of supporters and uh, I love this Patreon system. Uh, I get sent um, digital prints. I might have other stuff from him here. I think I see some something from him I haven't even seen yet. But this was commissioned by Amber for my birthday. This is us on our catamaran. That's Amber up there doing a yoga pose. That's me. You can see my green shirt out to dry. You can see one of Michael Bunker's socks being lost. That's what happened to it, Michael. Um, that blue blanket on the back is a, a memory of our last dog, Jolie. That's Bella down there driving the sub, getting my pen and paper. And this is the, this symbolizes the whales that we swam with. Um, and, but just look at the color, look at the way the pink in the sky plays through the water there. I, um, I got really, I get teary eyed now looking at it, but I got really teary eyed when I first saw this, this is getting framed. It's going to go up in my office and it's also going to go in our boat and, um, sail around the world with us. Uh, Ben, I, I treasure this. And I, I treasure you as an artist, man. I that um, that Patreon monthly stipend is right up there with uh, what I pay to um, have my lawn tended to. Those are my two decadent expenses, and they're worth every penny. This is also from Ben Adams. So this is what my Patreon um, support goes to. Let's see what. Oh, no, this might be something else. This might not even be for me. This might be for me to sign and send back to someone. Let's see. I've been gone so long that people are wondering why I haven't um, responded to stuff. Oh, no. Cheers for the Patreon support. So this might be something for me. This is like, there's so many goodies in here. Holy mackerel. Oh, my goodness. This is the original sketch of Vic for Sand. This, this uh, graphic went into the book, and that is the original pencil before he would have scanned it in and then did all of his touch-up. Wow, that is incredible. Ben, thank you so much. Man. Um, that's his first sketch of Vic. Uh, also, I... Oh, no way! Oh my God! This is this is a sketch of, of Amber. She is gonna flip when she sees this. I, you know, Ben, I've I've been watching you sketch for what uh, over a year now, a year and a half. Ben Ben does what every artist should do. He completes something every day. He completes a drawing every day. For writers, it can be a scene. For Ben, it is. Um, it's a, a complete sketch. He does a notebook. And I've watched, I, I was blown away by his work immediately. I mean, this is all of Ben Adams' stuff behind me. But you can just see the maturation of his art. This is, 
what he did for Michael Bunker, I think um, this is some of his finest work. These are so Michael Bunker commissioned um, these pieces. Michael Bunker has been brilliant. Um, what Michael Bunker has done is basically um, everything that I did that worked, Michael did, and all the things that I did that flopped, Michael didn't do. It's like brilliant. Uh, I I should have uh, I should have done something similar. So he did. He got Ben Adams to do similar um, inserts for Pennsylvania. I love that um, Michael and I kind of had these parallel careers. We're just on NPR recently together, and uh, I'm really honored by his friendship and uh, love that we have also bought on Amazon together. And, and um, I, I, I value him as an artist and a friend. So that's really cool that Ben sent that. Um, also, I saw Michael releasing his um, sand fan fic, fic on uh, Sundays and calling them sand days. And uh, um, I did the same thing when I released the original parts of sand. So if you're out there writing sand fan fiction, um, I guess I can spoil it now and say that it's going to be a Kindle world. Um, you can release them on Sundays and let everybody will just know that's sand day and to search Amazon for a new sand story. Um, ah, there is... Amber and I and Bella. And I think this one might be for me to, um, yep, to sign and send to a fan. So that's awesome. And we will get that in the mail. Um, ah, and then we have, we have our own versions to keep. What? There are so many, there are so many awesome things in here. You if you guys want to play with Patreon, this is the first person to support. I the way he the way he keeps up with this is amazing, and I'm telling you, Ben is going to be a household name if he's not already. He is in my household, and if you have an original sketch from him because you're part of his Patreon um, supporting group, you're going to be very happy that you did this early. And if you're an author, get in touch with Ben and um, and see if you can get him to do something for one of your books. Um, so since there was so much Ben Adams stuff just then, I think I'm going to stop Epic Sleep Deprived Mail Time and package this as the uh, Ben Adams portion. And then I'm going to open some more stuff because I've got special editions of Wool, Shift, and Dust that I haven't even seen yet. And they've been sitting here since like the day after I left eight weeks ago. And if I look wild-eyed and just like insane right now, that's 20 minutes of sleep after uh, a 20 hour travel day. Whew. What do you think, Bella? Not even a bit of movement from you, huh? You slept the whole drive. Why are you exhausted? Worthless. Need a new assistant. All right, I'll be back.